They had ruled out a post-election deal, but on Tuesday found themselves around the table in Islamabad. These political rivals reached a deal to govern together, the Pakistan Muslim League N and the Pakistan People's Party. Today, we have decided that we will form government together to take Pakistan out of crisis, God willing. Presiding over the new government will be Shehbaz Sharif, who was previously prime minister for 16 months until last August. Long negotiations are expected to dole out the main ministerial roles. The agreement puts an end to the uncertainty that arose after last week's elections. In a poll shrouded in suspicions of fraud, no party managed to get an absolute majority. But there will be one conspicuous absentee from the new government, Pakistan Tehrika Insaf. Imran Khan's party holds the most seats in the new parliament and the coalition partners offered it an olive branch. We have to do reconciliation and PTI is part of this reconciliation. Every political force should be part of it. But Imran Khan is unlikely to play ball. The former cricket star was toppled in April 2022 following a vote of no confidence mounted by the two new coalition parties. He's now serving multiple stiff prison sentences for treason and corruption, which Khan has called political prosecutions at the initiative of the country's powerful army.